So for this end of year, I have three yarn hauls, or at least what I've done is I've taken my one ginormous yarn haul and I've broken it down into three parts. So this will just be a part of part one, part two, and part three. Welcome back to Essential Crochet with Sig. I am thrilled to have you here with me today and I hope you are happy to be here as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Have purchases from Michaels, Kimu, Hirschner's, Knit Picks, and eBay. I gave myself a $500 budget. Now, I would have liked to have spent a lot more and in reality I actually did by a little bit, maybe, but you'll know how much I went over here in the third video, at the end of the third video, where I break how much I spent down for each place that I purchased yarn and what I got from them and what my savings look like. But with that said, there are several of these vendors that I've never bought yarn from. I had no idea what to expect. And if I purchased yarn from them in the past, the yarn I purchased this time isn't something that I have purchased from them before. So a lot of this is going to be very new to me. And, and I'll go over each type of yarn that I purchased. Now, some of this yarn you may be familiar with from previous hauls that you may have seen on YouTube or that you may have purchased yourself. But a lot of the yarn I purchased. I haven't seen anyone really talk about on YouTube. I mean, I've seen some reviews, but that's about it. I'm, I'm going into this quite blind. And so I'll give you my opinion. I even, I even weighed the yarn. So just as a caveat, I've already opened up the packages. Nothing was a mystery. Well, there was only one thing that was a mystery, but I'll go over that with you when we get there. But pretty much everything I purchased, I knew what I was buying. And um, because the one thing in these hauls that just actually drive me crazy is listening to the crinkling sound of the plastic that the products come in. When I'm finished here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove that plastic. So you're not going to hear it. And we're just going to get right into discussing the different yarns and where they came from and, um, and all the other things you watch a yarn haul for. So I'll meet you right back here in just about one second. This is my third and final yarn haul for the year and probably for the next several months to come because really I, I have quite a bit of yarn and I really need to work through some of it before getting too excited over new yarn, which admittedly will be tough to do, but we'll give it a go. At any rate, this is the third and final yarn haul for the year. And I'm going to be showing you what I got from eBay, what I purchased from Hirschner's. This is my first time shopping with Hirschner's, so I was pretty excited to get a feel for the, the yarn that they had. And and what that looked like for me. And then also I'll be breaking things down. So I'll explain how much I spent in total on the end of year yarn haul. How much it was going to be retail price had I not gotten anything on sale or with discounts or various other coupons. And then what that percentage looked like overall. So I'm going to begin with eBay. And this was what I purchased from some random seller. Now, admittedly, I didn't get the greatest deal on these. I paid, oh, $5 a skein. Had I purchased these from Amazon, I would have paid $7 a skein. And then on sale through Hirschner's, I saw that these were approximately $5 per skein. So there wasn't really any savings to speak of. I did get free shipping on these, however. And what I got was the Premier Cotton Collage. It's 246 yards or 225 meters, 50 grams for each skein. Now, this really caught my attention because it's a super fine, basically a weight one. It's 46% cotton, 33% superwash merino wool, 
and then 12% polymade, 9% B or PBT. I'm not entirely sure what that is, but obviously something synthetic. So this is clearly a sock yarn. Now, I don't know if I'm going to use it for socks or not, if I'm going to crochet socks with this. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. This particular color is called Sunshine Multi. I just, I just really liked it. So I purchased it, even though I knew I wasn't really saving anything, but sometimes you just got to buy it. My next purchase from eBay came from an individual who goes by a sheep's clothing. She sells on eBay and Etsy. And I was pretty intrigued with her. So I purchased from her. Um, again, it wasn't any great deal. It was absolutely and completely a fair price and a fair deal. Maybe a little better than fair, but it wasn't great. And I'll explain what this is. So I paid $25 for each one of these bags, right? And each one of these bags, so it was $50 and then plus a few dollars for shipping. So each one of these bags contain a variety of 10 gram eggs. So apparently this seller gets sock yarn she you know she has her own business she does what she does and then she has you know what's left over and she rewraps them into 10 gram eggs and then she puts them in these great little bags and she sells them for 20 20 eggs to a bag and so this is what you get every single yarn is is a quality sock yarn And it's fantastic for those small projects because I use a lot of scraps. It allows you enough yarn to do a very small project with or to add to something that you might use a lot of color with without having to purchase, you know, loads and loads and loads of skeins, right? Maybe you just need a little bit of this color blue in a project that you're working on, especially if you're doing like Oh, let's say fair aisle work or you're doing some mosaic work and you only need a little bit of the color but you know you don't want to have to purchase a whole skein so you basically get 200 grams of a quality sock yarn so these are typically natural fibers or some blend of natural fiber and they and they come from a variety of a very reputable sellers and types of sellers so you get you know them from like there's some i think the lowest grade sock yarn and and i like them so i don't know if low grade is what i would call them but but the more affordable commercial sock yarn you'll see some of the some of the Peyton's croy sock yarn in there but otherwise the rest of it comes from places like you, you know just and i don't have the sheet here in front of me but one of the places that jumps out in my mind immediately is like wonderland yarns right they do beautiful yarns and a variety of other yarns so each one of these eggs is at least 10 grams now i've weighed them and there were like one or two two that were just more closer to nine grams however I have a whole bunch of other eggs here that are well over 10 grams. They're like 12 grams, you know, so, so, okay, that's cool, cool. So now she advertises that you're going to get 20 of these eggs, but in each one of my bags, I actually got 21 eggs. Not only did I get 21 eggs, she also included this little bag of additional scrappy pieces. So these are even smaller smaller eggs but between these six eggs i believe i have about 20 grams of yarn so for my needs this is awesome this is this is a really nice little thank you she also included as a thank you in each bag what she calls a golden egg and i haven't opened up the golden eggs yet to see but each golden egg that she gives you is 20 grams so it's about the size of a regular mini 
uh, skein that you would normally purchase if you were buying mini skeins. So let's see what we got. Oh, see, now this is just, this is really nice. This is fun. The colors are pretty, very spring-like. So that I'm totally not unhappy with. And then I'll open up the other bag. And these bags are super helpful. They're just nice little canvas bags that are going to, you know, work great as a project bag, a small project bag, or some other, some other handy, useful bag. So you just can't, you just can't beat this. So like I said, it's better, you know, it's better than fair. Okay, now the next egg, let's see what I got in this one. This is another 20 gram egg. All right. That's nice. It's very um, nice, neutral earth tone colors. Very cool. So this makes me happy. Like I said, again, no great deal, but completely and absolutely fair. And I personally would buy from her again. She's very nice. She not only sent me all of this, she also sent some little tags with some sheep on them. So that was sweet. Again, postcards. You know, how nice is that? That's very sweet. And then I believe she sent some stickers, a little sheep blowing a bubble, like bubble gum bubbles. So that's cute. But anyways, that's another nice little, nice little thank you that she threw in there. In addition, if you were so inclined to check her out, on either eBay or Etsy, at least at the time of this filming. I think she still had one or two of this round of, of sets left. So again, I'll just go ahead and you can see right there a sheep's clothing, either Etsy or eBay. Now my eBay prices break down to $55.29 for the two lots of the 200 gram scrap eggs of the sock yarn. And then also the premier yarn totaled out to be $29.65. Now shipping total worked out to be $10.64. But with discount, so I received a discount of $5.70. I received a discount on the shipping for, for the sock yarn. Um, so after all that was said and done, I ended up paying $84.94 for that batch of yarn that you just saw. So as mentioned before, that was no great savings, but sometimes you just got to have what you got to have. Now, moving on to my next and final haul, that would be my haul from Hirschner's. The first thing I'm going to show you from Hirschner's that I purchased was this extra value bonus DK yarn from Hayfield. Now, it is 100% acrylic, and I was trying to avoid acrylic, but the price was pretty good, so I decided to give it a try. I was thinking it might work out nice for, oh, some sort of a baby item. And I don't think I'm wrong. So this is this is a nice a nice DK weight. It doesn't have the typical acrylic yarn fill, so I'm I'm happy about that. You're gonna get approximately 280 meters. So the sell price on this yarn was $1.97. It typically goes for $4.99. So at that price, I decided I could certainly afford to get four of them. I wanted enough of them to make a project with, but not so many of them that if I was unhappy with the product itself, that it would have been a huge waste of money. The next yarn I got was the Willow Yarns, their Gaia collection. It's 100 grams, 270 meters, 
or 295 yards. It is 70% cotton and 30% wool. Now, I was intrigued because this is a weight two. So it's a fairly fine yarn, but it has a lot of, oh, it's, it's how you would expect cotton to feel, except softer because of the wool. And, but it doesn't have too much give in it that you might expect to get from the elasticity in wool. So I'm really curious to see how this works up for me. Now, what I did, because the price on this wasn't terrible either. So this usually goes for $8 a skein, $7.99 to be exact. And it was on sale for $3.77, so it's about 50% off. So I wanted to give this particular brand a try. And so I got one in each color. And so this first color that I, that I got, what do they call it? Goldie. The next color is Moroccan. I got the linen color. I think I purchased one of each of the colors they had available. This is navel, the blue. I also got their evergreen color. The next color is a Merlot. This color they call Woodcliff. Also, this one is hazel. And then this one is cobalt. So the colorway of this collection, they're, they're pretty earthy. They look very natural. And I'm really kind of interested to see how they work up. Now, when I look at these, and, and now that I feel them, I think in terms of placemats. I think these might make great placemats with maybe a matching coaster or something. So we'll see how I, how I work with these. So the next yarn that I purchased from them, I was really apparently drawn to the Willow yarns, was their collection of gallery sock yarn. This yellow and black is the colorway is Bumblebee. And this is a 75% wool, 25% polymade or polyamide. And I'm excited to see how this works up. It's 100 grams. So that's kind of nice because usually these, you know, you usually get these sock yarns like this at any rate and they come in the 50 gram balls or skeins, but this one is 100 grams. So what I did was I purchased two in the Bumblebee. They had lots of colors. I purchased two in what they call Interstellar. And then I purchased two in the Pixie color or the colorway that they call Pixie. Now, these usually run $12.99 per, per skein. They were on clearance for $4.97 per skein. So that, that's a fantastic price. at $7 off per skein. And so that really made it interesting to me. I mean, not only do I not like the colors, so I'm interested in seeing how they work up, I was also feeling good about the price. Softness, they feel, they feel good. They seem to be more a, um, a super fine rather than your standard two weight sock yarn. So that's just another thing you'll probably want to keep in mind. So next, I tried these two willow yarns from Hirschner's 
and this is their stream collection and they only had these two colorways available on the clearance sale section so we have the dogwood and then also the spring greens now the reason why i purchased this was because i wanted to see if it was a match for hawthorne's spring green fingering yarn or at least i think that's what it was called but anyways hawthorne has a fingering weight sock yarn that's basically similar to these colors except the texture is super different so i wasn't really sure what to expect i was hoping i'd get the same kind of yarn because i'm working on a a project and i was just going to trade out the yarn instead of buying the hawthorne yarn again but i'll probably have to do that but now with that said while this has a completely different texture and it is it is a super fine it's definitely lace weight. I would say it's a zero. I was hoping to get something closer to a one, but that's fine. This is still a beautiful yarn. This is 70% super wash wool and 30% silk. And it feels like it. It's just luxurious. It's, it's beautiful, beautiful yarn. Now, this yarn normally goes for $4.99 for a 50 gram donut. So it's 437 yards or 400 meters in each donut. They had these on sale for $2.97. So it's a $2 savings. And um, the price itself wasn't bad. And with the savings, it really made this an interesting yarn for me. So I purchased a total of four of the spring green and then four of the dogwood. Now last but not least as far as my Hirschner's purchase was concerned I could not not purchase their cotton cake millens. I had to do a couple of those A because the price was right B because I can be a little adventurous sometimes and C the size right? The, the, between the material, which is going to be some variety of a cotton blend or mostly cotton material, plus the fact that it's going to be a fine sport weight or basically a two weight. That works for me. And then, of course, while I don't have anything at the top of my head in terms of what I have planned for these, because clearly I didn't know what colors I was going to get, I really like the idea of having them on hand. So a lot of people, when they get these skeins, you, you know, I hear a lot of, I, I, I've seen a lot of disappointment maybe that they, that they got a lot of the same colors. So they, they got skeins that were pretty much the same, the same yarn. And for me, I don't know that I would have mined that too terribly much. And, and I guess I'm just open to either way they want to go. Um, so I've actually ordered some more of, of these mill ends because they still had some available. And I'm hoping to get a couple of the cakes in the next package that will actually match some of the skeins that I got in this, in this package uh, because they're really nice and I can already see the different applications I could have for them. But we'll see what happens. So this is my experience with them. So I got the first set and of course I had to weigh it and it did not, it did not weigh out the way it was suggested it would. I mean, it really didn't even come close. So for this first package, it claims that you're supposed to get like a total of 450 grams. I did not. What I got was 434 grams. So I wonder if these were just mill ends or if somebody actually sent back the mill ends but used some from one of the from one of the cakes so this is the cake and it looked like this so it was very out of shape it was very um unruly and kind of messy and it came in well below the approximate 225 grams 
it was supposed to come in. In fact, it came in at 175 grams, right? Like 50 grams under where it should have been about approximately. So that didn't make me terribly happy, but this happens. I'm hoping it's just a fluke because everything else weighed in nearish to where it was supposed to be. So in the same package as this cake, I also received this cake, this blue, this, this gradiated blue that's just beautiful that has this kind of silver filament going through it. You know, this would make a lovely garment. This would make a lovely garment. And this one was 259 grams. So this gave me a total of 434 grams in, in the bag. Now, I was supposed to get approximately 450 grams total. So clearly we're off. And I think being off by, oh, 16 grams is probably beyond the approximate definition. But, you know, clearly I'm not upset enough not to have ordered a couple of more of these in. So we'll see what happens next time around. The next package of self-striping cotton cake mill ends that I purchased, everything came in at the appropriate weight for this one. So this first one is this beautiful, kind of this wine red that just kind of gradiates down to this softer, more, oh, I would say natural or red rock, kind of a red. So you have kind of this darker wine red that gradiates down to an orangey red that you might expect to see in the desert. And then it has this soft red sparkly filament that goes through it. Now this really can potentially make a beautiful, beautiful shawl or some other kind of garment. I'm, I'm not unhappy with this one for sure. This one is just beautiful to me. This one came in at 262 grams. So I was glad to get an extra 12 grams above and beyond with this particular mill in because I really, I really just love this color way. The next colorway I got in this batch of millins was this nice, it's greens and blues and it's pretty and it's bright. And I look at this and I see, I see all sorts of possibilities with this. Now this one came in at 202 grams. So between the two cakes in its package, it came in at 464 grams, which is still well above the 450 gram total that, that is indicated you will get with the purchase of this mill in. So my Hirschner's order, if I had paid retail for this grouping, I would have spent $269.31. Now, for Hirschner's, I do have to pay shipping, and their shipping works out to approximately $24.90. So with shipping, I was looking at just under $294 for everything. However, with the clearance prices and the savings I received on that, I paid $119.37 plus i also received a special new customer discount of 15% which gave me another $18 in savings so my total was $101.43 so now is the time for the breakdown i had a budget of $500 I actually went over my budget by bit and I spent $778.76.
Now, if I had purchased everything from the three, from all the hauls that you saw in part one, part two, and part three of this video series, I would have spent $1,557. A little less than that, but I rounded it up for you. So that left me with a savings of $828. In essence, I had a 53% savings. Now, for some of you, that may not be a big enough savings, and I certainly would have loved to have saved more. But because I chose different vendors that I've never worked with before and tried a whole bunch of new yarns that I've never worked with before, it was really quite a risk spending the money that I did spend on yarn sight unseen. So for the most part, I feel like I did actually really, really well. Even though a couple of the things I purchased, I purchased knowing I wasn't getting any kind of a special deal on. But 53% is fantastic, especially for a large haul just to have these yarns on hand for, for the various projects and, and creative inspirations that come floating my way. So if you haven't already, I'd like you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button, especially if you want to see more content like this in the future. You have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you all next time.